Jesus said, wait in Jerusalem, for you will be endued with power from on high when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and unto the ends of the earth. Now this has been our mission and the mission of my father and mother, Leon and Jacobi de Tue. They have been in active Christian ministry for the last 50 years, spreading the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, across South Africa until in 1995, when they were called to the international mission field. And we as a family moved to Kiev, Ukraine. Now, today I'm sitting in the house where a year and a half ago, a discussion started with a good friend. Henk and I sat in his living room until about two o'clock that next morning we brainstormed around the idea of how could we organize a foundation a mission agency in a sense that can in this new phase after 50 years come in to support like Aaron and her of old who had to support the arms of Moses as he was standing on the mountain while the next generation battled the Amalekites under Joshua's command in the valley. That was the vision that evening. How can we be that? Aaron and Ur also to our parents and their pioneer generation to strengthen the arms as we continue to focus upon what the heart of God is focused, which is the salvation of souls. And so at around um, just after midnight, we started getting to grips with the idea that we want to found a organization that would focus on missions, on a ministry as missions and media and on mentoring. The three M's we call it of Potentia Foundation, which was the, the term that we came up with. It's the Latin root word, the origin of potential. That is the heart also of our colleague Hink, is to see how potential can be unlocked in the heart of the next generation. Mentoring is what causes his heart and his mind to come together in expression of love to see how can we get the next generation nurtured for growth. And then uh, the media part is my passion. I'm passionate about how media and new technology connects people from around the world so that we can get a message out instantaneously and we can connect. Because once you connect, you can value. Connection and value, they go hand in hand. And then we can start building together, edifying, in order to also see, but how can we all reach maturity, efficiency, so that there is not any more uh, a wastage happening but we can pool our resources, get our minds working together, and uh, pool our faith. Get our faith working so we can apply it to specific situations, specific places in the focus of potential ministries. Now, that is really embodied by the ministry of Leon and Jacob de Tue. In the eighth decade of their life, they have heard the call of God to move from their international base in Kiev, Ukraine, and to come back to Southern Africa, to be based on the Copper Belt in Zambia. And they need our help. They need the help of a, a generation who is willing to put what we can to task, to put our hand to the plow, not to look back, but to look forward to see how can we work together intergenerationally with those who have gone before and the giants upon uh, whose shoulders we stand. Now, potential ministry is um, the focus is the Great Commission. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all of creation. And this is the heartthrob of God, our Father in heaven. But it's also the, the motivation of the Holy Spirit who lives inside of us and whose love constrains us to thus, as Paul says in 2 Corinthians 5, henceforth consider no person according to the flesh, because one died for all and therefore all died. So in the inclusion of Jesus Christ, there is a mandate to go tell everybody about that. You, my dear brother, my dear sister, you're included in the sacrifice of the Son of God 2,000 years ago. He paid the price for your sins and he's enabled you and I to get back into relationship with the one who created us in his image and in his likeness. And that's the beauty of God's original design that in his image and his likeness he's created humanity, both male and female. So there's a certain, um, there's a certain um, plurality in how God's work. He work. He's a family God. He creates us in order to be plural in our function but with a singular goal and that goal is to glorify our great God our Lord and Savior 
the Lord Jesus Christ. And so Potentia Foundation, the idea came about a year and a half ago in this house in Bethlehem. We brainstormed, got to, to the Latin word for potential, which is also the root for power. Again, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. God unlocks what he has, what is deposited inside of you. Because again, creation reality is that he created us in his image and in his likeness. Now that image and that likeness needs to reflect who he is. And the light is the word. For in the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was God. In him was a life and that life was the light of the world as John explains it in his gospel in the first chapter. So light comes upon the reflector. Humanity created and the light of the gospel reveals the blueprint of God. That's the message that we have with potential ministry. Potential media, we want to get the media message out. Isaiah 40, get yourself up on a high mountain, raise your voice and declare, publish the works of the Lord. That was contextually spoken via the prophet to a people in captivity. And we can relate to that today because the enemy, the one who is the accuser of the brethren, wants to get us into a place or keep us in a place of captivity where we are not living up to our God-given potential. This is why potential mentoring, the third part of the vision, is all about unlocking what God has placed inside of you. In order to get that unlocked, we need to be able to follow an example. And mentoring is all about father, fathering. It's all about sonship being restored. For God the Father sent the Son and the Holy Spirit who proceeds from the Father and the Son brings us into a place of identification with the Father and the Son. We can become brothers to the Son, children of the Father, sons and daughters of the King of Kings. That is in a, um, in a brief description of how Potential Foundation came to birth in the town of Bethlehem in the free state of South Africa. In the first conversation, when we came together at the end of the month again with uh, Pastor Leon de Tue and uh, who would be the three directors, one from Hartswater, one from Bethlehem and myself, to get this vision established, organized, so that now we can move uh, and run with the vision. For it is for an appointed time, as you and I are living in a time that has been appointed for us. According to Acts chapter 17, God has decided boundaries and times and he's placed us there in order to be his ambassadors again pleading beseeching every person in the knowledge that God the Father has reconciled himself in Jesus Christ to humanity our plea is now with humanity reconcile yourselves with God and this is made possible through the procession of divine nature the three in one god comes and enters our situation as christ promised you will receive power when the holy spirit comes upon you the gift of the father the paracletos comes proceeds from the father and the son enters into our life and into our situation and brings about the birth from above the new birth the rebirth as Nicodemus struggled with that question in the hours of the night when he went to Rabbi Jesus. And he asked, but how can a man be born again? And Jesus answered, it's by the Spirit. You must be born of water, but you must also be born of the Spirit. And so the Holy Spirit, the one who is our resident truth teacher, the one who empowers us, who leads us into all truth, is who we celebrate because once we get our mind transformed renewing our mind by focusing on the truth of God then the potential of God's image inside starts being unlocked and this is our aim as potential foundation is to see the restoration of godliness in God's creation in society to see how we can uh, pool our resources, pool our 
um, abilities, such as with Aaron and Ur of old, to hold up the arms of Moses, while the next generation is mended through worship of God, shown the example as the next generation under Joshua, they are fighting the Amalekites in the valley. There is a generation who is being supported. Moses is being supported by Aaron and Hur, by offices that allow for a connection so that there could be a value conveying, so that there could be a transfer from one generation to the other. For God is a God of a covenant. God is a God of generations. The God of Abram, Isaac, and Jacob. And it's Him whom we serve through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so this is an introductory video to explain what Potentia Foundation is about. But also a commitment to regularly use our media technology opportunities to get the message out, to give you updates on how Potentia Ministry, Media, and Mentoring is making a difference by the grace of God and the empowering presence of the Holy Spirit. Peace unto you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.